Hi, it's Ed Butowski. So today I want to focus on the valuation of the stock market and how people in my industry properly evaluate the valuation of the stock market. And this might sound kind of wonky and weird, but I think it's really important for you to understand exactly what goes into this evaluation. So let's go right to this chart. So in this chart, you have on the upper portion what the S&P earnings per share estimates are. So right now you have estimates that range from $180 to $300 for 2023. And on the left hand side, you have the U.S. 10 year Treasury yield. And if the yield is low, then the acceptable price earnings multiple on the stock market is higher. That means because people say, you know, if you're if you're able to get a, a lower rate of return um, with a risk free investment, then you should be able to get a much higher rate of return with a risk investment. And if you had the 10 year Treasury at 4.2, and it earned $226, then the S&P should be at $2,792. And if the S&P was at 3.2, then, uh, or excuse me, if the Treasury, 10-year Treasury was at 3.2, then you would see that the S&P properly uh, evaluated and measured and what it should be is 3,186. So that's how you go about looking at this. Now there's one other caveat and that is the growth rate of earnings. And you want the growth rate of your earnings to be close to or equal to the price earnings multiple of what you are evaluating. So what you're gonna see now is another chart. Now this chart shows that the earnings estimate for 2023 is $221. And the current price of the S&P right now is 4173, which if you simply take the price divided by the earnings, that'll give you the PE. And the PE as I stated earlier should be close to or equal to the growth rate of whatever it is that you're evaluating and in this case the S&P. And the growth rate of the S&P earnings is about 14%, not 20%. So a lot of people are going to say, well, the stock market is overvalued and will continue to be overvalued. I actually believe that we're looking at 2024 numbers now, and I believe that we're going to see clarity and we're going to have visibility on what earnings are going to be. And they're going to be a lot better come 2024. I know that sounds crazy to be thinking out that far, but I think that that's what the market is going to be looking at. We're going to have a couple of rough periods and we're going to see some earnings decline. I do not believe we're going to have a recession. I believe we're going to have a weak economy, um, but we're not going to see a recession. And that's going to be because the Fed continues to battle inflation. You got to get inflation under control and at the same time, somehow keep the Fed, keep, keep the economy from you know, declining into negative territory. And that's a really tight rope uh, for the Fed to walk. But I think that they're doing a pretty good job at it. Um, I really do. So I believe that we're going to see inflation come under control and we're not going to see a recession. And I do believe we're going to see really good earnings growth come 2024. And that's going to be reflected in the stock market today because the stock market is a great discounter of future information and news. So on the surface right now, if you look at it, you can say the stock market's 28% overvalued. But I believe we're looking down the road and I think that we're going to see a very, very good 2024. And um, again, I think it's crazy to even be talking about that since we're just in February. Uh, but I believe that that's what is happening right now. And I think that's why you know we're going to see a really nice return to uh, equity prices. Jeremy Siegel from Wharton said that we're looking at a 10 to 15 percent rally uh, or you know this year. Um, and I, I believe that he's correct on that. So um, this is what the numbers look like. Thanks.